greatest existential threat to America is Joe Biden. The threat is real, and it is here. Just go through his history, his short history as president. Biden is embracing the socialist lurch left. He is also controlled by handlers, whose only concern is power over the people. And when we talk about threats to our existence, we have already seen tangible, real tangible freedoms disappear under his watch. Look, our money is disappearing as gas prices rise, as many cities and states remain shut down. He's also planning on raising our taxes. Heck, our kids can't even go to school in many cases. Crime is exploding in every major city across America. Our freedom to walk down the streets safely without fear is gone in most cities in America. These are all direct results of the policies Joe Biden supports and, yes, is now pushing. So consider this. Closing the border doesn't run the risk of putting Americans in danger, but opening them certainly does. Look what's happening now on our border. As Joe Biden called them all in after stopping wall construction and promising amnesty. He knows it's a crisis, but won't admit what our side sees. Folks, let's make no bones about it. There is a crisis at the border. The main problem at the border right now is that the Biden administration doesn't want to enforce America's immigration laws. There are so many areas where, uh, when it comes to the border, uh, this current administration is uh, making much, much worse what's going on down there. But what's happening right now is beyond a crisis. Yeah, it's a threat to every city in America, not just border towns every city. Today, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas finally admitted the situation is becoming, here's a quote for you, difficult on the border. No kidding, right? Warning the U.S. is on track to encounter more migrants than it has in the last 20 years. The border is secure. Now is not the time to come to the border. Do not take the dangerous journey now. Give us time to build an orderly, safe way to arrive in the United States. It never cease to amaze me. They'll literally look you in the camera, look you in the eye, and lie to you. The border's not secure right now. That comment alone, by the way, makes everything worse. He just told everyone, we will let you in, just give us time. They only hear the we will let you in part, by the way, sir. Yet he still will not call it a crisis, even though he called in the help of FEMA to house what he dubs child migrants. But that's a word game. These kids are really teenagers, mostly boys approaching 18 years of age, military-aged males, we call them. And then we learn they're soon to be released back into American cities, sometimes into the hands of other illegals again. Stopping all of this doesn't hurt America. Letting it fester certainly will and already is. We're overwhelmed down here again. The fact is, is that we're going to be putting up with this from now on until America wises up and understands what's coming across that border. Biden has no clue what he's doing with this. Now you tell him who the existential threat is. He'll tell you it's Joe Biden. So as Joe Biden sets the stage for an even bigger crime explosion, we see MS-13 gang members, drug dealers, sex traffickers, he is pushing to disarm you. Letting good people keep their guns, again, hurts no one. Taking their guns away certainly can. With a slew of restrictive, unconstitutional gun control bills moving through Congress now, two are now headed to the Senate dealing with background checks, Joe Biden and associates now take aim at gun manufacturers. He wants to remove liability shields for them, putting gun makers in what will be legal peril as every crime victim sues the gun maker of the firearm used in the crime, thanks to Joe Biden, ultimately putting gun makers out of business. That, by the way, is his ultimate goal, and it only will hurt the law-abiding. You see, Joe Biden is an existential threat to all of us. How about listing known terrorists on an official list that allows us to sanction and take action against them? 
that doesn't run the risk of putting Americans in danger. Here's what does. Taking terrorists like the Iranian-backed Houthis off of that list certainly does. Joe Biden did that, too. Allowing the Keystone Pipeline to continue doesn't run the risk of killing jobs or losing our energy independence. Canceling it does. Thank you, Joe Biden. If you don't think Joe Biden is an existential threat, just ask the thousands of high-paid pipeline workers who no longer have a job. Heck, you can ask my 17-year-old niece who's in shock today. She doesn't understand why gas is nearly a dollar more a gallon now than it was the day Joe Biden took office. Consider this. Every move Joe Biden has made at the direction of his handlers has hurt us. It has compromised us. It has weakened us. These moves have had a clear negative effect on the way we all live. The clear and present danger to this nation sits in the White House. And sadly, I believe it is only going to get worse. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.